Well, your boiler is leaking and you don't know where it's coming from and you'd like to take a look. Today on The Boiling Point, we're going to talk about hydroing a boiler. Welcome to The Boiling Point. We're here with Steven Taylor, director of the rental division. If we can keep him from laughing so much, we might be able to get through this. Anyway, hey, we're going to talk a little bit about hydroing a boiler. Um, Steven, in the, in the rental division, you all actually hydro boilers all the time. All the time. Um, maybe out on the job site, maybe let's talk a little bit about that. Is when would we even hydro a boiler? Uh, most inspectors, a lot of inspectors want to see the hydro on, on any rental boiler that comes in, every new boiler, uh, a reconditioned boiler. They want to see it hydro just so they can prove to themselves, hey, the pressure vessel's worthy, we don't have an issue here. Most of our rental units, because we keep a current Kentucky certificate on them, they'll waive that on a rental project. Some right. of them won't. It's up to the inspector. Some of them will have them hydro it, most of them will not. Okay. What are you actually doing when you're hydroing a boiler? You're, you're, you're pumping the pressure in the pressure vessel up to um, what we call MAWP, maximal allowable working pressure. Uh, on new boilers, they go one and a half times that. So if it's a 150 pound design boiler, they want to go to 225 PSI. Okay. You're just checking all of the pressure vessel, all the valves, all the fittings, all the flanges, making sure that everything is pressure worthy so that when you get steam on it, you don't have an issue. You know you don't have an issue. Okay, so on a water tube boiler like this, you would actually just fill this thing up with water from uh, ambient ambient water. I mean, what, what do you do? Yeah, it's going to come out of, out of the ground here, out of, out of our city water at, you know, 55 degrees, what our ground temperature is down deep. And, of course, we're sitting here in 85 degrees right now, so you, we won't, we'll fill that boiler up with cold water, but, you know, you have what, you know, what's referred to, um, you're familiar with, with shrinkage with cold water. Yeah. So we we'll want to make sure we don't have that with a, with a boiler. Right. So, right. because what will happen, those tubes will actually shrink in the tube hole and they'll leak if you try to hydro it with cold water. We will, if we fill it up today, we'll leave it until tomorrow before we hydro it. Let everything uh, even out, let the temperature come up in that water, let the, uh, the metal get uh, the same temperature as the water, and then we can hydro it and everything's good. Okay, so city water pressure is typical <clears throat> What? 90 pounds here, 80 pounds here, 90 pounds, something like that. Okay, so we have a 350 PSI boiler. Yeah. How do we get to one and a half that's, times? That's where the hydro pump comes in. We just okay. hook a water hose to it, um, and we'll, we'll bring it up to, you know, city water pressure, then we'll valve that line off that we're filling it with, and then we'll hook this line up to it, run just a standard water hose to it, flip the switch on and sit here and watch our pressure gauge until it gets to the pressure we want, and shut it off and valve it off. Okay. This is electric. This is a manual one we use for small boilers. You wouldn't want to put that on this thing because mm -hmm. you're going to be there for three you're days trying to pump it up. Yeah, yeah. it'd take a while. Okay. Um, so after we get this thing up to pressure, then what happens? Then we'll, we'll leave it typically for, you know, 30 minutes to two hours, and then we'll inspect everything. We'll get inside of it in, in, in the fire box on a water tube, inspect the drums, and, and make sure we don't have leakage. Typically, we, ins we hydro them here after we've done some type of tube work. We've mm -hmm. done pressure vessel work, we've done tube work, something the customer has done some damage to it, something we've had to repair. Right. So we'll hydro it to make sure our repairs are, are pressure worthy and we don't have an issue. Okay, so if you have like a, a pinhole <clears throat> leak and you have uh, pumped this thing up, got the pressure up, you've got a pinhole leak somewhere, do you actually see it on the on the gauge that the pressure goes? You, you'll set and watch down? that gauge. It, it'll it'll go down. And, and what the what the inspectors want, they want that pressure to hold within a couple percentage points over a two-hour period. That's okay. what they want to see. Okay. So we'll, we'll valve we'll valve everything off. Make sure there's not any valves leaking anywhere. The inspector will sit here for two hours, look at the gauge. If it doesn't drop, he doesn't need to go inside because he knows it's not leaking. So he don't have to worry about it. Okay. So maybe, <clears throat> maybe we talk to, um, to our end users, um, you know, XYZ company, you know, are, are they performing these type of things themselves or do they typically have a company come in typically and Typically they'll have a company come in and do it. They won't have the hydro pump. They won't have those types of things to bring that pressure up there. Um, so normally they'll bring a service company in to do that hydrostatic test for them. Mm -hmm. And then will they need to have an inspector? 
that they'll have an inspector there to witness the hydro. Like any time that they have a repair performed on their boiler, on the mm -hmm. pressure vessel, that's the time they'll, they'll uh, have that repair company hydrostatically test the boiler, an inspector will come in, do the inspection, sign off on everything, and then they'll drop it down and go ahead and put the boiler back online. Maybe the last question, what, what is actually the inspector signing off on? What is, what is he's just saying that he witnessed the boiler past the hydrostatic test. Okay. That's what he's saying. Okay. All right. Well, there you have it. Uh, a little bit about hydro and a boiler is something that's very familiar, I know, in our shop. And if ever you need anything out there, make sure you get a local service company to, to come in and actually do that hydro. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Well, appreciate Stephen stopping by and talking with us. I always love picking his brain. Speaking of picking brains, make sure that you go out to WearBoilerU.com. You can check out our Wear Boiler University. We actually have technicians that teach this class, and you can pick their brains for three days and find out all the things that you don't know about boilers. Well, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, share this episode today on hydroing a, bo a boiler. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.